Welcome back to another week. I'm so excited to just vlog over the course of the next week and I'm really excited to have a very homey and cozy week. I'm going to be spending a lot of time at home doing a lot of stuff around our house, but also today is going to be a bit of a busier day. So we have a lot going on and I feel like when I used to do week in my life videos, especially back when I lived in New York City, I would always share kind of bits and pieces of each day and record for a greater amount of days versus really drawing out each day itself. And I kind of want to try that style in today's video. So let me know what you think. Let me know if you like that. Let me know if that even makes sense at all. But today's Monday. My mother-in-law is actually in town right now. She is staying at, it's really nice. Our apartment building has like guest suites that you can stay at. So she's staying down there since we just don't have an extra bedroom and it's her last day. So we're spending a lot of time with her. I won't be recording too much, but to start off the day, I'm really, really excited because I'm actually going to a brunch with Cuts, which is a brand that I love. I love their tees so much and just all their apparel. They have men's clothes, women's clothes. I'm going with Aiden. He's actually working from home today, which is nice because he isn't always working from home. And so we're going there. It's at Paradiso in Dallas, which is one of our favorite restaurants. And I just got ready. So I'll show you guys what I'm wearing. This has been my favorite dress. It's part of my newly order, but I kind of want to buy it because it is just stunning. I love the fit on it. I love the color of her fall. Here's a dress. I really like it. I think it's just so comfortable. It's very loose, very flowy. And I really like the crochet detailing on it. I think it's beautiful. And then the boots that I'm wearing are from Lulu's. I love love adding boots like this to long dresses because it kind of gives it more of a fall look but it still isn't too warm or anything especially for texas and these boots have been a favorite and it's the perfect amount of heel too which i brunch it was so much fun i used to do a lot of stuff like that more in new york city with brands and going to events there's still some in dallas but definitely not as many and so it's always really fun just getting to meet people who do the same thing as me and chat with other people and it was just a really great time so i'm really thankful i'm about to get some work done for the rest of the night so i'm not going to be vlogging too much but i'm so excited because we are going to the katie trail ice house tonight we have to go because aiden's mom is in town it's definitely our favorite Dallas spot. If you're coming to Dallas, you have to go to the Ice House. It's no surprise if you've watched my vlogs how much we love it, but we're gonna go for a long walk and then grab some food there. So that's the agenda for the rest of the night. Happy Tuesday. We actually just said bye to my mother-in-law, which was nice having her in town. But now I'm going to a coffee shop. Sometimes it does help me just feel more inspired, especially when I'm coming up with content ideas, planning out concepts to be out of our house. And so I like to just get a walk in to get some vitamin D and get some work done. So that is the agenda today. I'll show you guys what I'm wearing because I really, really like this outfit. Definitely a simpler outfit. I'm just wearing this top that's from Lulu's. I showed you guys this one in the haul. These are my favorite jeans. These are the relaxed jeans from Abercrombie and they are so comfortable and they just fit really well i'm wearing a size 26 and it's a little bit big on me but i really like how they just look a little bit more oversized and of course you guys know me just wearing my high top converse as well i also really like the back of this top how it's open but i will say i'm just wearing a normal bra with it because i don't have any clean like cute bralettes but if i had a cute bralette it would be even cuter with that. Essentially, anytime I work at a coffee shop or I'm on any sort of public network, and even when I'm at home too, I always use ExpressVPN. You guys have heard me talk about them before and I'm so thankful they're partnering with me on today's video. And I just wanna say, don't skip over this section. I feel like a lot of times talking about VPNs and privacy online, it's just not a sexy topic, but it's so important. And before I had heard of ExpressVPN, you guys might be the same, but I was so confused what a VPN actually is. I was like, do I actually need one? and the answer is yes you do and something that helps me think about it is thinking about a postcard and essentially anytime you go on any unencrypted network it's like you're sending a postcard in the mail where there is not an envelope on it everything is just out in the open they can see all your information and this is similar to going on an unencrypted network they can see your passwords they can see your bank info if you're paying bills essentially using this vpn is like putting an envelope around the postcard it's going to protect all that information so it's all invisible and i used to think that vpns actually slowed down your browser and for me i do all my work on my laptop i also do all of my editing all of my emails all that stuff on my own i like when my laptop just works really quickly and expressvpn does not 
not slow down your browser at all. And it's also super easy to use. Just download the app and press the big on button and now you are protected. You can visit expressvpn.com slash Michelle Reed to get three months free today. And yeah, I think these are things that people just don't really talk about, but it's so important to have privacy with this increasingly digital world that we live in. So if you wanna check them out, again, it's down below. Again, you can visit expressvpn.com slash Michelle Reed to get three months free today. It has been a day and honestly, I'm just going to rant for the next little bit. And I don't like to rant in my videos. It's something I really try not to do and I try to keep them like peaceful and calm because in case you are in a mood where you're feeling ranty, I want you to come to my videos, get less of this chaotic energy. I just can't channel any calm energy today. And if you ever have days like this, I just wanna say that I do too. I woke up at 6.45 this morning. So I've been up for a while. I've been trying to wake up a little bit earlier and I feel like it's been nonstop ever since. And I love my life. I love my job. I have so many great things going on right now but my brain today has just been like Psh. it's the kind of day where things keep just not working out i went to a coffee shop to get some work done so i wasn't feeling cooped up today but then i received an edit from a brand that i needed to come back home to do so i came back home did that came back home try to finish up the video to send back to the brand before the end of the day so it can go up one day late not later come back our wi-fi is not working in our apartment which is just never really happens and so i'm just admitting to feet today it's really not that big of a deal but i also feel like i just keep adding stuff to my list i was trying to get our storage unit secured and then i was thinking about it i'm like how are we even going to get this stuff over to the storage unit might need to run a truck want this stuff out by tomorrow because i'm filming a video tomorrow where i would like it to be gone and it's like that thing where to do one thing one thing also has to be done and that thing requires something else to be done and my brain is just crazy right now and so we're gonna try to get this stuff done though for the rest of the day it also always feels like this on the days when I don't work out in the morning. So I definitely need to work out this evening. I need to get some cardio in because my brain is just like, it's kind of chaotic energy today. I wish it wasn't, but it is. We're embracing it. I'm getting some laundry started at the very least because that's something that needs to be done. Just changed. I'm about to go get a workout in. I'm gonna go run today because I definitely feel like I need just a good sweaty run. I'm wearing this cuts hat that I love and also little cuts tee, which I do have a discount code with them because I love cuts. I have started to wear these when I work out and I really like, it. sometimes I'm just not feeling like wearing a tank top and this is the move. A lot a lot later I just got out of the shower we took cash for a walk tonight and it was such a beautiful evening out it was so nice I felt like the golden hour it was just so pretty it feels so good making dinner I feel like I haven't made like a more in-depth recipe in a while although I will say I'm making this recipe it's like a salmon pesto bake and it tastes like it is made from like a fancy restaurant but it's so easy so I'll have the recipe linked down below it's literally like salmon pesto goat cheese walnuts basil and then i just usually serve it over rice and you can also do a side salad i'm going to do one for aiden because i already had a salad today so i don't really feel the need to get more greens but it's delicious and so easy and then we are just going to chill out watch a show or a movie yo how's your workout oh everyone's gotta come in the kitchen but yeah that's what we're doing tonight you're gonna follow your appetite you're eating cheeses <laughs>
second attempt at hanging this. <laughs> I think it's going to do it in the box. No, it's not. <laughs> oh, you can take your shoes off. Yay! Oh. Is it on? Yes. Wait, I'm not letting go. Okay. It is. Hey, look, it's like so crooked. Okay, that's fine. Wait, let go. It's just, it's a little low. Don't you think it's a little low? No, I think it's fine. I feel like it's like in the couch though. No. That's not bad. No. I guess, I feel like the fiddle leaf kind of balances it out because it's yeah. taller. I think it looks good. I think, okay. It's definitely crooked, but like. Yeah, no, come, come stand over here. Looks good. It is Wednesday. Happy Wednesday. I am happy to report that our textile art is finally up. If you guys watched that one vlog where we tried to hang this originally, <laughs> <laughs> it was definitely a fail, but last night we got it up, which is great. I was just getting some work done this morning and now I'm headed to go off to an appointment. I'm actually getting my nails done. I feel like I just got them done, but lately I've just been waiting too long between appointments to get a fill. So I'm gonna get one today and I'm pretty sure I'm just gonna get all my nails this color because I've really been liking this dark brown out of all these shades and I'm kind of just craving something simple. So we're gonna do that. I'll show you guys what I'm wearing. from Rent the Runway. I actually wish I would have gotten a bigger size though. I feel like in Dresses. I normally don't feel that way, but it is just really tight along the chest area. And then I'm just dressing it down with my same Converse that I wear basically every single day. Back now for my nail appointment. They look so good. I love the color. Like I mentioned, I never really get dark nails, but I love this color. I also did more of an oval shape instead of my normal almond. And I think they look really great. And I'm really excited right now because I have talked about this, but we're in the process of getting a second car. A and I have shared a car since we first got married. So it's been two years of sharing and it hasn't been the worst, but we're definitely at a point now where we're ready to have a second car. And we've been working with a company. I'll actually link them down below. They're great. They source used cars for you at auction. So you tell them the kind of car that you want, all of the bells and whistles you want or whatever, your price point, and they essentially go out and try to find it for you instead of you having to go to a dealership and all that. They're great. That's actually how we got our Jeep too. And we've never had issues with the Jeep, but we have been working with them for the past month. And if you guys know cars right now, very, very hard to find, supply is very limited. It's really not the best time to buy a car. We just need one pretty badly right now. And so we haven't really had much luck finding one, but today I just got a call that there's is one that's in our criteria and everything that they're gonna bid on. So I'm really praying that it pulls through because yeah, cars right now, it's just really hard to find them. So we'll see. I will let you guys know though in this vlog if we get it, I'm really excited. But for the rest of the day, I'm actually filming a different video. So I am probably gonna see you guys later. If we get the car, I will definitely insert that in here. But until then, I'm gonna do some filming and I'll catch you guys later. Audio might be a little wonky here because my microphone is over in the room, but I wanted to show you guys something that I just did. I did this during my mid-year reset too, but that is just make a new laptop wallpaper. I feel like I never take time to do stuff like this. It always seems like a chore, but it is so relaxing to do and also just always inspires me too, especially to do it for a new season. So I wanted to show you guys. Here's the laptop wallpaper. Like I mentioned, I just use a Canva template. I will link the one that I use down below. It's just like a free template. And I essentially just mix in a bunch of my own photos with Pinterest photos. And I like to filter them all the time same so this is all the cocoa filter on the Tezza app it's really nice it kind of gives it more of that moody look and so that's my photo obviously the ones of me and Aiden that one is my photo and then these ones are Pinterest ones so I just think it looks really cute and it always makes me happy when I have a nice wallpaper when I'm getting work done just changed wearing yet again another cutsy I've decided that I think the gray color is my favorite I really like the look of it I am gonna go head down to get a workout in I don't know why I've just not been feeling working out lately so not really wanting to do this but i know it's not because i actually need to rest it's just because i'm lazy so i'm gonna go do a strength workout and it's gonna be great
It is Thursday, I have another day at home, which I hope you guys don't mind. I feel like it's been a week of just being at home and honestly, I've been loving it. I have really been liking just being home and not traveling as much and spending time here. I do wanna give an update though that we did not get the car that I was talking about. He called and he mentioned that they pulled it from the auction, which usually means that there's like a title issue with it. So it's a good thing it got pulled. So it's a good thing it got pulled and that we didn't get it, but I was definitely bummed about that. But today I'm working on a video. I need to edit a video to send in. And so I figured I could take you guys along the process of baking sourdough bread today because I always love timing this for the days when I just have a whole day at home because I would say the second day so the recipe that I'm following right now you make your Levain the second day you do your stretching and folding you make your dough third day you bake and so it really doesn't actually take that long and even today I probably just need from like 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. so it's like just being at home which is why I love making the sourdough bread I feel like it gives me something to do especially if you work from home too I've had a lot of people message me saying they want to get into it and so I figured I would include it in today's video I'll link the recipe that I'm using too but I'll show you guys the step-by-steps last night I made my Levain so that's essentially when you combine your flour your water and your starter so we made that made sure it was all bubbly this morning and then then I started the dough. So I just did that. Essentially, you just combine the Levain, you combine your flour and your water, mix everything through, make sure all the dry bits of the flour are mixed in, and then you let that sit for 40 minutes, and I will continue on after that because it's sitting right now. So I'm doing that, gonna edit my video. I actually thought I had an event today, but I looked at my calendar and it's next week. And the main reason why I wanted to start the bread today was because I'm filming an Instagram reel of it. I love watching cooking reels. And if you guys follow me on Instagram, you would know that I have been on my real kick lately and I feel like it's because I'm just such a video person I've never been a photo person and so I know a lot of people are upset that Instagram is kind of transitioning more to video content but for me I love videos I think they're so much fun to make I love them so much more than photos I'd rather hire a photographer to take photos because I am just not skilled in that department I feel like I don't really have an eye for photography before reels were a thing I didn't really post on my Instagram too much but now I have been posting so many reels I need to incorporate more photos photos though I feel like my whole account is becoming reels at this point but it's just been so much fun so feel free to follow me over there if you want I feel like it's because I started YouTube with such a passion for making videos and it's still my favorite part of this job like YouTube is my favorite I love creating videos I love telling a story through the way that I edit I love combining the music with the video clips color grading all that stuff is so much fun for me and so it's fun now I feel like it's kind of like doing that on a miniature level over on Instagram. So our dough has now rested for 45 minutes. So we're gonna do our first set of stretches and folds. Super easy to do, but we're gonna do four sets of these. And then each one is 35 minutes in between each set. So I'll show you guys here. I just like to wet my hands cause it makes it a little bit easy. Kind of like to go around and just scoop it up a little bit to make it a little bit easier. Cause it does usually stick a little bit. Stretch it as high as you can without breaking it. And then you fold it over. While I was recording that, I almost forgot that I didn't add my salt in. So this is just salt and water. It's a mixture. And we add this in during the first set of stretches and folds. Oh my goodness, that would have been bad if I forgot. I'm glad I remembered. And then we just cover and we let that sit for another 35 minutes. Now it is time for the next set of stretches and folds. On to the next set of stretches and folds. And now we have our last stretch and fold. So now we let our dough bulk ferment and in between I have been just covering it with this damp kitchen cloth that I have but it's going to sit here for 5 to 10 hours. I actually find that mine is sometimes good by 4 hours. It definitely will only take 5 hours max so it is about 12.30 right now so around like 4.30 or so I will go ahead and check it and then possibly start shaping them. Definitely have some flour bits on my shorts because that is just the nature of baking bread but I'm wearing this cardigan that is from Lulu's. My hair scarf is from Kristen Made. I just have on this black tank top that is from Free People. My same necklaces I wear every day. And then these shorts are actually from Zara because it is still 90 degrees out so we're keeping with the shorts today. And like I mentioned this is not my recipe so this 
isn't a video of detailing all the recipe and everything. It's more so just to see if you want to start sourdough, what the process looks like. I think one day if I ever make my own recipe, I would love to do a whole video about it. But for now, I'm just showing you guys me doing someone else's recipe. But now we're going to shape, which is my favorite part, but we're going to flour our surface first. So I'm just using this flour duster and then we're going to roll out our dough. You know that it's ready when you indent and it indents back quickly and kind of goes back to its normal position. these loaves sit for 15 minutes and then do another shaping. And now our dough is shaped and it's gonna sit in the fridge for I think like 12 hours or so, but I'm gonna bake mine in the morning. You can basically keep it in there, I think up to two days or so. So I'm gonna keep it in the fridge and it's gonna sit in there until we're ready to bake. Okay, I just changed, got all ready because we're gonna go on a date night. We are going to a restaurant called Hillstone or it's Hillside. I get them mixed up because those are both Dallas. Oh, I need to put on my ring too. Those are both Dallas restaurants and we've never been. We wanted to go somewhere new. So I just threw on this dress. It's from Rent the Runway. I love the color. I think it's so fun. And then I had to whip out my little cowboy boots. I like these cowboy boots because they're not too cowboy in your face. They're still easy to dress up with dresses and kind of make them more casual, not too Western. I really like them. They're from Dulce Vita. Hi, I'm just going to get a grande cold brew. And can I just do one pump of the pumpkin sauce in there? Yeah, of course. And then just also a splash of coconut milk. Good morning. It's bright and early right now. It's 7.30. Last night's date night was so much fun. I didn't actually end up taking any vlog clips when I was there, I realized. Which I usually try to do when we go out, but we were just having a good time, so I didn't really get much footage. But I'm walking cash right now, I'm grabbing some coffee, but sometimes, especially on a Friday, it's nice just to kind of get out to do our morning walk. And so I'm taking cash to a neighborhood to walk in that's a little bit slower. There are just so many great neighborhoods around, so I'm gonna take him there and then get back before Aiden needs our car today. So that is the agenda. It is a lot later in the day. It's actually 4.30 right now. And I'm just running a bunch of errands that I've been meaning to run, have been putting off, and it feels so good getting all this stuff done. I got the key store storage unit so we can move all that stuff in whenever we want. I think we're gonna try to do that tomorrow. I went and got a mattress bag because we're storing that mattress that we have. So stopped at Home Depot. Also got some light bulbs because a few of ours went out in our bathroom. Returned my newly and also my rent the runway. And now I'm finishing up at Trader Joe's. I'm just gonna go, I wanna get some flowers for our apartment. I also need to film a clip for tomorrow's video. So we're gonna do that. And I think for the rest of the evening, it's Friday night, but I still have work I need to finish up for the rest of the evening. So I don't think we're gonna do anything. I just did not get all my stuff done. I had a call earlier today with actually some YouTube friends, which was really nice to get to connect with them. But we chatted for a while, which was really nice. But that just means I need to finish up tonight's video, which is totally okay. And I always love stopping by Trader Joe's during the fall time. It's always a little mood boost. And another little Trader Joe's fall haul. I just can't resist. Every time I go in there, I don't know what it is. Got some really beautiful flowers. The eucalyptus I'm gonna put in our bathroom next to our bathtub. But I also just picked up some sunflowers and then they had a ton of like pompous grass, more dried reeds and such. I also picked up two of their vanilla pumpkin candles. These are my favorite. And I always like to stock up because I burn these really quickly. And I also got a Honeycrisp apple one. They had so much more pumpkin stuff. And so I picked up these 
pumpkin sticky toffee cakes. These look so good and I feel like there's a good chance. I should have got ice cream. Okay, I regret not getting ice cream. I feel like that would be good on these two, but these also look delicious. And this isn't anything pumpkin themed, but I also saw these egg frittatas and I've been struggling with breakfast lately. I haven't been super hungry in the morning. And those looked like they would be good just to eat in the morning. So that's everything that I got. I also picked up a couple of frozen pizzas because I think we're just going to do like a chill frozen pizza and salad night and then have a little cozy night at home. Good morning. It is Saturday morning. It's about 8.30 right now. We are headed to an F45 workout, which we have not done a Saturday workout at F45 in such a long time. Oh, by the way, I just decided I want to keep vlogging into Saturday. Here is the fit today. I've washed this top so many times in the past week because I love it. And we got the extra high rise line leggings too. And there's also a coffee shop called LDU right next door that we love going to. So we're going to stop by there after. I also got this blanket in the mail. Since we're finally going to fully put together our bedroom. Oh, this is so nice. This is from Bolin Branch. It's just a quilt that you put on top of your bedding. And I feel like it's going to make it look just a lot more plush our bed, but it's so nice. It's like a waffle material, but I'm gonna go ahead and throw this in the wash so it's ready for when we wanna use it either today or tomorrow. I have not vlogged in a while because it has been a day. We officially moved a bunch of stuff over to our storage unit, mostly everything. I was trying to do everything, but unfortunately this mattress, we just could not move it. We kept trying to put it on our dolly because we ended up renting a truck to try to fit the bigger stuff and it's impossible to move. I have no idea how people move mattresses without movers because this one folds over. It's not like a stiff mattress. We're having someone come on Monday to help move it for us. Like people who specifically move mattresses. So that's the last thing. It's so much more clear in our bedroom, I'll show you guys. So here we have it. It is so much better now. Cash is just lounging on our bed. So now we can actually build our bed frame and everything, which I'm so excited about. And now we can actually see out our window, which is nice. I feel like it's hard to picture what this bedroom looks like because I hardly show it because there's so much stuff. But Aiden's desk is right here. We have our dresser over here. I'm also excited to style these shelves right here. It's gonna look really nice. That's gonna be my project for next week. Okay, Cash is waiting for permission to get on the bed, but I wanted to show you guys that here's the blanket that I showed you guys. I really like how it adds just a nice layer to the bed. I feel like it makes it feel more like a hotel bed, but I am gonna get rid of this pillow. I really don't like this pillow. This is like a pillow that I have from at home. It just looks like it's not long enough since we got the queen or the king bed instead of the queen. And also these pillows that I have underneath the bed, these ones are queen ones. So I need to get king ones and they'll kind of like go off more. And I think it's gonna look really, really good, especially when I obviously put together the bed frame too. But I really like it. I think it looks good. You can go up. He's being so weird. He's acting like he's so good, but he really gets up there all the time. Cash, you can go up. He always needs encouragement. Go on up. There you go. And then tonight, I'm really excited. Aiden and I are actually babysitting my nephew Ezra and my niece Juniper, which I'm so excited for. I feel like we don't babysit them that, that often. And so it's always fun to get to go over there. And they're such great kids. So it's just fun to get to hang out with them. I'll show you guys what I'm wearing though. Cause I showed this in a previous video. I recently got this skirt situation from Alame and I really like it. It's basically this skirt, but you can actually see the shorts underneath, which I just think is cute. I originally was like, I don't know how I feel about it, but I really like it. And I feel like if you were actually using this for like tennis or some sort of sport, it would be really nice. There's just a lot of coverage and it's nice because it's high-waisted. I feel like it has, it's just really comfortable. It was nice for moving all that stuff today.
Good morning, it is Sunday morning. Last night was so much fun. We ended up staying over there till like 11 o'clock just talking to Lindsay and Ben, which was so nice. I always love just getting to catch up with everyone. And now it's Sunday morning. I'm about to end off this vlog, but I did want to do something this morning with you guys. And that is make kind of healthier pumpkin waffles. The reason being I made myself a pumpkin there's a cashier on there. A pumpkin cream cold brew. And I now have just this open can of pumpkin puree, which I usually just store in the fridge and I'll keep throughout the week because sometimes I'll top Cash's food with pumpkin and whatever. But I figured I should go ahead and just use this. And I do have the Trader Joe's pancake mix that is pumpkin, but I'm kind of feeling something that's just a little bit healthier. I lately have been craving so much fast food like really salty really really greasy fast food i don't know what it is i've just not been having an appetite for healthier foods and so we're gonna try to make something that is a little bit healthier and i wanted to use my waffle maker i feel like i never use this, this is from dash it's super cute but it just always seems like this ordeal to get out but it's sunday morning we're gonna have church later this morning but i'm just having a slow morning and i figured this was kind of the vibe so we're gonna do that and i do want to note that i did indeed get my money's worth with this set because i've been wearing it probably three times a week right now i want to get it in every single color it's from free people it's definitely like a more expensive piece at least for me personally it was a splurge but oh my gosh it has been so worth it waffles turned out beautiful they actually look like a work of art and they were so easy to make so i'll have the recipe that i followed down below but now is the most important part is how they taste amazing i just topped mine too with some whipped cream because we had some heavy whipping cream left over that i whipped up some pecans and maple syrup and cinnamon and i still have four left over too so it made a decent amount but I'd highly recommend this recipe and also it was just such a nice experience like slowing down and making myself breakfast sometimes when i'm doing stuff like that because aiden's not like a huge breakfast person and so it seems kind of silly to like make myself this breakfast that probably took me 20 minutes to make it's nice every now and then and now i have leftovers for the week which is great i'm gonna go ahead and finish my breakfast i wanted to say thank you guys for being here i know this video was a long one i feel like we did a bunch of different things. In my next vlog, I'm going to put together a bed frame. So I'm really excited about that. But thank you guys so much for watching. Again, if you guys want to check out ExpressVPN, I'll have them down below. You guys can visit expressvpn.com slash Michelle Reed to get three months free today. So I'll have that link down below. And here's to enjoying some more fall goodness together. <laughs> Bye, guys.